It's funny, as I sit here and stare at a blank page trying to think of something to sum up the last year of planning and where we're going from here, it occurred to me that this trip in particular has seen more ups and downs than any I've done before it, and our journey hasn't even started yet. The truth is, as much as I feel like I may have control over my life and how it turns out, I'm really more like a passenger along for the ride, and nothing could highlight that better than this recent virus outbreak. But in the midst of all that's going on, I came to the realization that overlanders are just socially accepted preppers, and I couldn't have put myself in the middle of a better community of people equipped to handle a situation like this. I guess what I thought was going to be our adventure mobile may turn out to be more of a bug out vehicle. But whatever the situation turns out to be, for us, it was back to the drawing board to rethink our journey. So, uh, we are back home um, and regrouped. Uh, the trailer is getting repaired and today, um, it's rainy outside so um, we didn't want to be cooped inside so I think we're going to go out for a drive. I was going to go hike to some waterfalls but I guess we'll see now that it's nasty out there. So I guess Hi. bring our rain gear and um, Wait, where I guess you guys are probably all wondering what's going to happen from here. And that's a very good question. Uh, but first, let's get on the road. Bye! Okay, so I suppose you guys want to know what's going to happen from here and uh, what happens to their Southeast Asia trip. And um, although we don't have it completely ironed out, uh, what it looks like now is we're uh, going to postpone it till the end of summer. It was um, already delayed by about five months and so pretty much everything we do would be uh, during monsoon season. And then add on top of that the coronavirus and everything that's going on with that and uh, closing borders and all that good stuff. It's just kind of became a little bit of a fiasco. So um, we decided that we'd spend the summer here hanging out with you guys and uh, the truck and trailer will ship off hopefully in July and then we'll be close behind it in September. So um, yeah, not the most ideal situation, but you know what? We gotta roll with the punches and uh, this is something that I really wanna do and um, bound and determined to make happen. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, just a little later than we planned, a year later. <laughs> so that's what's going on, and we, instead of going to Asia, are playing in the snow today. Quite the opposite, but uh, fun nonetheless. So grab some lunch, head out of town, and uh, see some waterfalls. This way, we're here at um, Big Burger in Malala, one of our uh, favorite spots to eat lunch. Jackson was screaming, so we decided that we were going to spend the uh, lunch out in the car because uh, screaming kids in tiny restaurants don't uh, mix well. But uh, anyways, we uh, ordered some corn dogs and burgers and uh, we'll eat it on the go, I guess.
so we are in the car and on the road and it is actually snowing. Uh, the weather report said that there might be a little snow, but I wasn't quite convinced. So <laughs> it should be interesting. We're going to go out uh, to hike to a couple of waterfalls and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes in the snow. But uh, you guys ready? All right. To the snow. So the terrain is a little different, so I overshot my uh, entrance and uh, now I'm stuck behind a gate. So we're going to turn around and uh, I'm not sure how far we're going to get. It is pretty snowy and the route that we're taking is pretty steep, so we'll see. Maybe we'll just take a little hike. There's no way. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you have kids. Uh, we're gonna go for a little hike, but I doubt we're gonna make it down to the actual waterfall. Okay, come on, let's go hike for a little bit. No, you guys don't want to hike? This is what reality looks like. Nobody wants to go for a hike except for me and Jax. Marley's throwing a fit because she's always got attitude. And Jackson, what are you asking? What were you asking? Your hands are cold? I won't go see it today, but... Daddy, help. Okay. Well, <laughs> that didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but at least we stretched our legs and went for a little hike. There is a beautiful waterfall down there that uh, um, I love going to, but you know, that's what you get when you got kids. You just kinda have to roll with the punches, so. Anyways, nothing else, we had a nice little drive. That's good enough, huh? I guess whether it's a day out with the kids or a six month journey through Southeast Asia, the lessons are pretty much the same. Stay flexible, don't get too attached to the plan, and always try to make the best of whatever situation you may find yourself in. On the bright side, spending the summer here means we get to pare down our gear to better prep for Asia. We won't miss any of the summer festivities, and best of all, we get to spend our summer here with you guys prepping for the apocalypse and trying not to get the virus. Anyways, stay safe out there, safe travels, and We'll see you on the trails.